unlike a small block Chevy, to prime this thing for oil, you don't have a distributor to uh, be able to turn the oil pump. The way to prime an LS is through that port on the side of the motor, which is that guy right there. Here's the plug I took out of that, uh, that port I showed you underneath the car. What the plan is, is to put this adapter in there, screw on this barb fitting, put a piece of hose between here and this cheap pump I bought. So this will be the outlet of the pump, and then the inlet of the pump will go into oil. And I will drive that with a drill, and hopefully pump oil up in this thing. This is an autometer uh, adapter, and you can see here it's a 1 8 NPT to 16 times 1.5 mil size. Uh, this adapter is let's see, 3 8 uh, by 8 uh, inch pipe threads, and this is a 3 8 inch um, bar fitting, and I think that's, that's half inch or 5 8 I don't remember. I will then turn the pump until we start seeing oil come up through uh, the valves up at the top. At least that's the idea. And then I'll know that, um, that the motor should be pretty well pre-oiled. So here's the contraption for oiling. That's my pump with my drill on it. Here's my oil. So it goes into the pump, and the pump goes up to, uh, let's see it here. There we go. Um, that's the, the port where I took the plug out. And then what I did was I pulled the plug on the oil pan. So I'll be filling this thing up with oil and it'll be draining out as I fill it. Um, I'll be able to tell how much oil is still left in there because obviously I've started with a four gallon or five gallon jug and um, I'll see how much uh, is left in there and then I can top off the oil and I'll know exactly how much is in there. Uh, one thing to note, I've read, that you should break it in with, with standard oil, not synthetic. To have a good idea how much pressure I'm putting into the system, uh, I hooked up the battery and then turned the key on and have somebody watch the oil pressure gauge as I was spinning the drill, uh, only getting about 12 psi because of the speed of the drill. Okay, well we're done with the pre-oiling um, because basically I blew out the oil pump uh, or the pump that I bought. Uh, it was like a cheap Harbor Freight and Salvage, like four bucks. Uh, big surprise at it blew out um, but uh, what worked well is you need to bump the bump the motor I got a breaker bar on the crank pulley you got to bump the motor around to get the oil holes lined up before the oil pump blew out we got oil up to two towards the front and two towards the back coming up through the uh, the holes uh, for the push rods here and uh, I would have liked to have gotten gotten it through all of them but uh, the fact that the motor was put together with assembly lube and everything was, was pre-lubed, I'm going to call that good to go uh, for, the, for the lube of the motor. Any first words for the camera? Uh, yeah, it started. Not quite running right, but it started. Woo! No, no fire. fire. No, no fire. fire either, which is and also no fire. Any leaks? I don't think so. Okay, so now it's nope. the plan. I don't know. He's very excited. Yeah. It didn't necessarily stay running the greatest, but definitely has something to start with. That's amazing. I know. 